Right, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new vlog. FA Cup third round action today as we take on Brighton and Hove Albion. It's the Battle of the Albions in the most prestigious tournament in English football. And it's good to see Baggy's boss Valerian Ismail hinting that he will play strongest eleven possible. You know, the FA Cup is very important to the fans. It's a very prestigious tournament, as I say. So good to see that we will try and field our best eleven rather than the Carabao Cup. We had against Arsenal early on this season when we just fielded the youngsters. I think uh, Brighton manager Graham Parr is also looking at changing his 11 rounds, so there's a potential for an upset on the cards. For a prediction, I'm going to be realistic. I'm going to go with the 2-1 Brighton win. I think they will just edge us out on Premier League quality. But it wouldn't surprise me if this game went to extra time. Uh, before the vlog does start, though, guys, you can please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'd really much appreciate it. But let's get down to the Hawthorns now and see how the action unfolds. <laughs> Yes! Oh, come on! No. Burns won the header. Oh, God. No! 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 So it's half time at the Hawthorne, it's West Bromwich Albion nil, Brighton and Hove Albion nil. And just at the end of those highlights there, you can see Brighton had two really good opportunities. First with Shane Duffy's looping header and then Neil Mopai going through on a 1v1. You can just see the quality now selling between the two sides. We had a good first uh, 20 minute period where we were showing some, some positive sides, but the quality is, has faded and Brighton are showing their Premier League level now. So I'm, I'm fully expecting them to go on to win the game. Hopefully still an upset on the cards, but David Butler's had to bail us out on a couple of occasions, but half time it's nil nil. Hopefully we can keep it up and hopefully get a goal to, to win this game. About 20 minutes ago in this game, we're still leading 1-0, but Cedric Kipper has got himself stupidly sent off. Two yellow cards in a matter of minutes. The second yellow card is stupid. Hands all over McAllister. Just position is poorly right there. I don't get why you need to do that when you're one up in the game, but stupid from Kipper, and we've got an uphill battle now, one nil up. Let's go!
McAllister. So it's the end of normal time. It's finished West Brom 1, Brighton 1. It's going to extra time in this one. I've got to say, I was a bit disappointed with the manager's substitutes. He's put a lot of the youngsters on, gone very defensive minded, taken lots of Carl Grant and Callum Robinson off. And we've let a goal in, going to extra time. We know Brighton are going to have a lot of possession in the game. It's just whether we can take it to penalties. I don't agree with the substitutions. I think they've, I think they've put us in this position. We might have gone for a 1-0 lead if we'd have kept the normal team on. And combined with the red card of Kipre, which is absolutely stupid for two yellow cards within a matter of minutes, the game's got away from us. And, you know, I'd be very happy if we got the game to penalties and had a chance to win. But you just know for this extra time period, it's going to be all Brighton. But we'll see what happens. Go on, you batters. No fight, yeah. And Brighton take the lead through Neil Mopoi and you know we, we were fighting a losing battle really trying to get to the game to penalties trying to just defend on the edge of our own box and we've paid the price and Mopoi with the with a clinical finish whereas clearly just come on as well for Albion to try and save the game but Brighton look like we're going to the fourth round it's, it's really disappointing considering what has happened in the game we've shot ourselves in the foot and we're paying the price but there we go see what, what, what can happen in the last sort of 20-25 minutes